In health news tonight, another application of the latest high-tech tool, Google Glass. This one at Yale New Haven Hospital. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa has more on how patients will benefit. And Darren, we've been hearing a lot about the Google Glass. Glasses with a small glass square, a wearable computer situated just above the top of the right eye. They're testing it at Yale New Haven Hospital for training purposes to provide the best possible care to patients. Nurse, nurse. Mr. Oh, Diaz, what's Mr. the problem? Diaz, my chest really, really hurts. Mr. Diaz, okay? Mr. Diaz is having trouble breathing. His heart is about to stop beating. Let me get the bed down and then on the count of three. But this is just a simulation, a scenario created to train staff at Yale New Haven Hospital. You can literally see what your patient sees. Using the Google Glass. This is a great tool to allow us to provide that feedback to our learners in real time. Feedback to change behavior aimed at enhancing patient care. There's no pause. David Diaz on the simulation team plays the role of patient. There's a lot of, you know, talking over the patient and, you know, indirectly talking about the patient, you know, within earshot, but, you know, they don't, sometimes they don't notice that. Dr. Stephanie Sudikoff. Let's get those pads on. I'm going to charge up. Heads up the team. Watching myself makes me think that I can slow down a little bit. I don't need to speak as quickly as I do, and I can take a minute to pick just the right word or to make sure that I'm really making good eye contact with somebody and making it clear to them that I, that I care what they think and I care what they say and I want to answer all their questions to the best of my ability. We have a Excuse pulse. me, doctor. What happened Hello. to my brother? I left the room for five minutes. What happened? You're Mr. Diaz's brother? Yes, I am. Jeff Hoffman tackles being the patient's brother. Just seeing the personal so, contact with the doctor, doctor sitting me down team, and explaining exactly what's going on, I think is going to help any family member that comes into that situation so they know exactly what's going on and their loved one is being taken care of. It's all due to Google Glass, the small glass square connected to multiple cameras and microphones, which captures what the human eye does not always see. The made up encounter is then replayed for the debris. We are all part of a large health system and ultimately what we all want is to provide the best possible care to our patients and providing the best possible care includes providing the best possible experience. Dr. Sudikoff tells me that Google Glass training will not be limited to the clinical staff with the goal of offering it to anyone with patient contact as the program develops. Back to you.